Hello, my friends. Yelena is here with Fit, Fun, Happy. Welcome to Upper Body and Abs Workout. Today's workout includes six arm toning exercises that target your arms, chest, shoulders, upper back, and abs. I will guide you through every exercise, offering exercise options. So please do make sure that you do what feels right for you and keep on moving. We will begin our workout with a mobility warm up and then we will move on to our one block we will have only one block that has six exercises that i mentioned we will work each exercise for 45 seconds 15 seconds break in between each exercise and then we repeat our block three times so it's gonna be short and sweet but we will be focusing on building strong muscles in our upper body and our abs and core. So for today's workout, you will need two sets of dumbbells to toggle in between uh, heavy and medium, maybe a little bit lighter than medium, yoga mat, fitness mat, towel, and water. All right, let's get our party started. We will start warming up our body. Oop. So just follow along and have fun. Find yourself in the middle of your mat, your, your feet wider than your shoulders, and just start follow along. We're going to be stretching our side body. So squat and stretch to the side. Squat and stretch. Squat and stretch two more side times on each side one more feel that stretch awesome job now lift your arm right arm up and start going down to your to the floor and then as you reach the other side lift your other arm up and go back so we're doing around the world with our body. Warming up. Our midsection. Our core. Two more times. One more. Great job. Stand back up tall and let's do some shoulder. Rotation, so bring your shoulders up, back, and down, just like that. Now forward. Great job. Now you're stepping forward with the right foot and swinging arms to the right, and stepping back, arms to the left. Stay on one side. Give me four more times, and then we'll switch sides. One more and switch sides, stepping with the left foot forward, swing to the left. Forward and back, left and right. Warming up our arms, warming up our shoulders. One more, great job. Now hinge on your hips, extend your arms, biceps to ears, palms facing down. Pull those elbows to your rib cage and extend. Four more times. Pull and extend, pull, extend. Core is tight, glutes are butt is back. Two more times, pull, extend. One more, great job. Now place your feet wide and give me side lunge. Waking up our hip flexors. Lubricating our knee joints, hip joints, ankle joints, everything. One more. And done. Great job. Now let's do some knee hugs. One more. Great job. Now get your feet wide, lower down into yoga squat. Place your right hand on the front of your right foot. Bring your left arm up, open up chest to the left. Switch sides. 
Right arm up, chest to the right. And switch. Left. Switch to the right. And one more time. Left. And right. Great job. Now slowly rise up to standing. Change your new hips and walk out to plank. Rock forward and back in your plank, high plank. Now walk back to standing. And three more times, walk out to plank. This move warms up our whole body. Keep going two more times. Stand up tall and strong. Hinge, walk out to plank and walk back to standing. Great job, one more, give me one more. Walk out and back in. Great job all right so let's move on to our strength training block our first move you will need heavier dumbbells so it will be you bring your dumbbells to your shoulders front rack so it's gonna be push press so you're using your, your legs to press off the floor to push those dumbbells up so it's almost like you're giving a little bit of a jump push so three times your feet might be come off the floor for the power of the push and press then you're lifting dumbbells up connecting them and giving the tricep extension so bending the elbows dumbbells down to your shoulder blades three times your tailbone is tucked under and then bring them down to the shoulders so this is our first move, three push press, and then three tricep extensions. All right, so get ready. So roll your shoulders, blades back and down, chest is proud, ground your feet, rock your dumbbells, and let's go. So bend your knees, squat down a little bit, and press. Squat and press. Three times. One more. Now press up, connect dumbbells, biceps close to your ears. So lower, slow with control. If you're doing heavy weight, slow with control. Pull that belly button towards your spine. And bring down to the shoulders. Three more. Push, press. Great job. Now press, bend your elbows and extend. Three times. Way to go. Bring them down to the shoulder and done. Next one is isolated bicep hold. And we're moving one up, halfway up, and then we're alternating, but we're holding one side. So get ready. So upper arm is glued to your rib cage, but your elbows are not resting on your bones. They're holding the weight. Let's go. So curl right, curl left. Keep the chest high, proud. Move the shoulders away from your ears and breathe. With every curl, exhale. Just remember, we're focusing on every move. Moving heavy weights, building strength in our upper body. 10 more seconds left. Almost there. Keep going. Core is tight. Give me one more on each side. And done. Awesome job. So next one. You're placing, you're placing dumbbells on each side of your mat. And we're gonna be 
doing plank walk. First, you're on a high plank, you're grabbing dumbbells. So either high plank on your toes or lower your knees. So we're doing, you might need to keep your feet a little bit wider for stability. We're doing four single arm rows. So bringing that dumbbell to your hip bone, keeping hips facing the ground. So four rows, dumbbell down, walking to the other side and doing the other arm four rows. So we're going back and forth for 45 seconds. So the first set, we're just learning exercises. Then set two and three, we'll be focused on each move and building strength in the good form. All right, get ready. So make sure you have enough space. So there is enough space to walk from left to right. Get ready, let's go. Give me four rows. Your hips are facing down. Bringing that dumbbell to your hip bone. Place it down, then walk to the other side. Grab the dumbbell and rows on the other side. Four. And walk. Almost there. Keep your butt down. Hips are straight. Other side. Three and four. And done. Whew. That was a hard one. So we're staying on the floor. Grab your lighter dumbbells. We'll be doing chest fly. Now press. So place your arms, your upper arms on the floor. Dumbbell in each hand. Elbows softly bent. And lift them up above your chest and lower. And then bring your elbows down to your ribcage and press. So open up, chest fly, above your chest, lower down, elbows to your ribcage and press. Keep going, just like that. Press, open wide, slow and control. And bring it down to your ribcage, narrow, narrow press. Almost there. Keep on pressing that lower back into the floor. Core is tight. Give me one more. Chest fly. And narrow press. And done. All right. Now you're either keeping one dumbbell or two, connecting them together and doing pullover with leg extension. So knees bent 90 degrees, feet off the floor. So as you're pulling over dumbbells, about your head down to the floor, you're extending one leg. Bring it back above your chest and pull your knee back in. So pull it over, extend another leg. Keep going. Extend arms and one leg. Keep on pressing that back into the floor. Pull in that belly button towards your spine. Almost there. Slow with control. Five, four, three, two, one, and done. Whew. Last one, you're holding on to those slider dumbbells. Back on the floor, shoulders, your dumbbells to your shoulders. So you sit up, one shoulder press, down. Sit up, alternating shoulder press. Let's go. Core is tight. You're sitting up using your core and leading with your chest. Neck is aligned with your back. Slow and control. Your heels are grounded. Almost there. Shoulder press, full extension. Bicep to your ear. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one, and done. Great job. So this is set one. We have to do it two more times. 
Now we know exactly what to do. So make adjustments if needed with weights. See if you wanna keep on doing two or just switch to doing just one heavy for certain moves. So back up on your feet, three push press, overhead tricep extension. So get ready. Grab your dumbbells, rock them on your shoulders, your feet, shoulder width apart, let's go. Push and press. Give that power to your press. Then press up, connect, and bend your elbows. Tuck the tailbone under, so booty is not extending to the back. We're keeping our back straight and strong. Three tricep extensions. Building those muscles in our tricep. Great job. So we're doing one more time. Extend, tricep, flexion extension. Three times. And done. Whew. Okay, shake it up. Next one is a symmetric bicep hold and curl. So let's start with the left now, curling left. Curl and back, reset. Holding 90 degrees, elbow bent, chest is proud, shoulders away from your ears. Controlling those weights, you can do it. Keep breathing. Great job, great form, almost there. Move with intention. Give me one more time on each side. And done. Now get in the plank. See, but, oop, not enough space. All right, so get in the plank, close to one of the dumbbells, and let's go. So three rows, pull in the dumbbell, Close to your hip bone, then walking to the other side. Plank is strong, butt is down. And walking back. Good form, great form. Strong plank. Make sure you're breathing. And walking back to the other side. Keep your seat wider for stability. And done. Whew. Staying on the floor. Get down to your back. Grab your dumbbells lighter. Dumbbells with you. Doing chest fly. And now press. So open up for a fly. And let's go. Pull those dumbbells up, squeeze your chest. Bring dumbbells down to your chest and press. Open for fly. Bring it up and down. Press. Open. Slow with control. Keep moving. Awesome job. Working on our chest muscles and shoulders. And done. All right, pull over leg extension. So bend your knees, feet off the ground. Knees 90 degrees. Connect your dumbbells if you're doing two or if you're doing one, you can hold just one and then pulling it over. I'm gonna be holding two because it's too light. So connect to dumbbells and let's go. So bring those elbows softly bent, bring that, those dumbbells, touch the floor, extend one of your legs and bring it back to center. Pull over, extend leg and reset. 
Keep on pressing that lower back into the floor. And breathe. As you bring in everything back to center, you exhale. Open, inhale. Close, exhale. Give it one more. Awesome job. So holding on to dumbbells, we're doing sit-ups and shoulder press, alternating shoulder press. So place your dumbbells, touch on your shoulders, and we're gonna be sitting up in three, two, one. Let's go, leading with your chest, core is tight. Let's go, sit up, one shoulder press. Alternating, bicep close to your ear, it's like it's whispering something into you. You're leading with the chest, core is tight. No rounding in the back. Halfway. Press and lower. Almost there. Give me one more on each side. And done. Woo. Step number two, check, check. One more time. Now we're gonna be pros in our moves. We're gonna have perfect form. Close to perfect seems nothing can be perfect. We're gonna be close to perfect. And move with intention. Focusing on the muscles we're working. So, just a quick break. So get your heavy dumbbells ready. Doing push press and tricep extensions. So another variation, instead of doing two dumbbells, if it's too much, you can do just one dumbbell. So it's close to your chest. So you're doing push press, but you need to hold heavy dumbbell. And then you're doing just one tricep extension, one dumbbell. So bring it all the way to your shoulder blades and up. So that's another way to do it. Working same muscles. Get ready. Wrap your dumbbells. Prepare your body. Get ready in three, two, one. Let's go. Last time. Three push press. Just give it all out. Pull the belly button in, uh, tail bone under. So back is strong and tight, protect it. Bring it down to your shoulders, push and press. Three, extend and flex. Three times, down to the shoulders, press. Press, push off the floor and press. Slow with control. One more and done. Shake off your arms. If they're tired, get ready for isometric bicep curl. Starting curling on the right, holding on the left. Let's go. Curl all the way to the shoulder. Back to 90. Pull your chest up and shoulders down away from your ears. Check on your core, make sure it's contracted. Your abdominal is contracted, strong. Protecting your lower back. Halfway. Elongate your neck. Awesome job. Keep going. Yes, you can. Keep breathing. Give me one more on each side. And lower. So place the dumbbells on each side of the mat. We're doing four rows and plank walk. Lateral way. Get ready. Get in plank. Three, two, one. Let's go. Four rows. Bring it all the way to your hip bone and then walk 
to the opposite side and make your other side happy with those rows. So everything is balanced in our body. And walk other side. Two, three, and four. And walk the other way. Press those hands into the floor. Your arm, your elbow pit is facing forward. Three and four. You gaze at the fingertips and done. Whew. So stay down, grab your later, later, lighter dumbbells. Get on your back. Get ready for a fly. Let's go. Ready? Shoulder blades connected. Squeeze your chest and bring those dumbbells down. Press up. Open wide and squeeze at the top. Bring them down and up. Inhale, exhale. Down and up. Hear yourself breathing. When you hear it, your brain is hearing it and it's making your body work harder. One more, open. Close, down, and up. Beautiful job. Now get ready for dumbbell pullover and leg extension. So lift your feet off the floor, knees 90 degrees bend. Get ready, dumbbells above the chest. Let's go. Pull the dumbbells over, bring them down, extend one leg. Bring it back into center. Inhale, exhale. Extend. And flex. Keep moving. When you keep your bent knees away, farther away from your hips, it's a little bit harder. When you try to bring them closer to your chest. It's easier. So you pick whatever option fits you best. Keep your feet flexed. Give me one more. And done. Next one, the last one is sit up with shoulder press, alternating shoulder press. So get ready in five. Bring your dumbbells to your shoulders. Plant your feet into the ground. Let's go. Leading with the chest, core is tight. Sit up and press. Lower. Sit up and press. Keep that core tight. Pulling belly button towards your spine. Activating all those muscles on the front and the back. Protecting our lower back. Almost there. Awesome job. As you're sitting up, you're pushing one dumbbell up above your head. One more on the other side and done. Woo! Way to go. Awesome work. And we are done. Way to go. We don't need to sweat a lot. Do all the cardio. We can just focus on building strong muscles. Slow with control. So stay on the floor. We're going to cool down and stretch. Try to bring your heart rate down closer to wherever your heart rate was before you start working out. So find yourself on the back. Extend your arms towards that front wall in front of you. And extend your, I mean, your legs in front of you. Your arms Try to reach the wall behind you. A positional stretch. Now open up your feet as wide as your mat on the floor. If it's yoga mat. So wider than your shoulders. And then grab your right, left wrist. And pull it over to the right. And then bring your left ankle and place it on top of your right. So we're in a banana shape. So keep on pulling that 
wrist over to the right. Keep on grinding the shoulder blades and feeling the stretch on the left side of your body. All the way from your hip to your shoulder to your armpit. Stay here for three, two, one. Back to center, uncross your legs. Now grab your right wrist and pull it over to the left. Place your right ankle above your left. Banana shape to the left. Stretch on our right side of the body. Feel that stretch. From the hip to your shoulder, to your armpit. Back to center, uncross your legs. Bring your knees to your chest. Give yourself a hug, wrap your arms around your shins. Lift your shoulder blades off the floor. Maybe you can bring your forehead closer to your knees. Stretching the muscles of our back. And relaxing our muscles on the front. On the next inhale, release. Bring your shoulders back down to the floor. Place your hands underneath of your knees and give me a rock and roll three rock and rolls back and forward and butterfly at the top butterfly your legs open up your knees wide feet connected soles of your feet one more stay at the top and the butterfly so your feet connected your heels your toes opened so lift your torso up, elongate your spine, shoulders back and down, lift your chest up. Pull yourself away from those hip bones. Now hinge in your hips forward, keep your back straight, neck is elongated. Just as far as you can go, keeping your back straight. We're opening up those hip flexors. Stay here for three. Keep on breathing, deep inhale, exhale. On the next inhale, round up your back, drop your head down and you can lower it down closer to your feet. If it feels good, relax your neck, shake your head no. Shake your head, yes, relax your jaw. Deep inhale. And exhale everything out. On the next inhale, rise up. To sit it. So bring your right foot to meet your left inner thigh. So it's like a triangle. Now hinge in your hips and forward fold over that straight leg. You can open up your chest forward to stretch that latissimus dorsi muscle. It goes from under your armpit over to your lower back. So look under your arm, under your armpit. Pulling the chest through. Great job. Now back to sit it. Bring your knee up. So now it's quite close to the chest. Hug that knee. Place your right hand behind your hip and look back. Soft and gentle spinal twist. Back and straight. Keep it back straight. On the next inhale, back to center. Now switch sides. Your left foot to your right inner thigh. Pull that torso up towards the ceiling and now hinge forward over that straight leg. Pull the chest through to the left. Looking under your left armpit. Great, 
great job. On the next inhale, start rising up back to sit it. Bring that knee up, hug it with your right arm. Place your left hand behind your hips and look over your shoulder. Keep that back straight. Stay here for three, two, one. Back to center. Now extend both of your legs, bend your knees, and then hinge forward and place your chest. So bring your knees as high as you need to, to connect your chest to your quads and extend your arms forward as far as you can reach. So let the chest rest in your quads. Stretching our back, but also keeping it protected. Next inhale, rise up back to seated. Now bend your knees, your feet on the floor planted. Place your hands behind your hips, fingers away from you. So roll your shoulders back and down, away from your ears. Chest is open. Now lift your hips up and push them towards your heels and back to your hands. Heels and hands. We're stretching our biceps, stretching our chest and shoulders. Give me three more times, just like that. Great job. One more. And bring your butt back down to the floor. And find yourself seated. And we are done, my friends. Awesome job. Way to show up, to get stronger, happier, healthier, all of the above. Very grateful for it. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. Be well, my friends.